Exporting data in phpMyAdmin. This tutorial will show you how to export data in phpMyAdmin. For this tutorial, we are connected to phpMyAdmin using the root MySQL user. When connecting as another user, some options may be disabled, dependent on the server's configuration and the specific privileges granted to the user by the system administrator. On systems configured to use Plesk, the master MySQL user is the admin user instead of root. Many systems are configured with control panel software installed used to delegate the administration of the accounts on the server. Whenever possible, it is recommended that you use the controls within the control panel itself for certain tasks, such as the creation of databases, creation of users, management of user privileges, etc., instead of phpMyAdmin. Performing these tasks outside of the control panel can produce undesirable results in the operation of the control panel software. On Linux-based systems, database names, database users, table names, and column names are case-sensitive, whereas on Windows-based systems, these names are case-insensitive. Click the Export link. Select the databases. Hold the control key to select or deselect additional databases. You can also select to convert the data to a different storage platform. However, to re-import it back into this database, you will need to use SQL. Here you can add a custom comment that will be included in the dump. Select the SQL compatibility mode. Here you can have the dump converted to syntax that is compatible with older versions of MySQL or other SQL based database engines. Selecting none will use the current version of MySQL installed on the server. Enabling this option will include a drop database statement in the dump at the beginning of the section for each database included. This is used to clear the existing database before restoring from a backup. If you access the PHP MyAdmin as a user other than the master user, you may have privileges granted to drop a database as your user when you try to import the dump, so you may not want to include this in the output. This option will include the commands to reconstruct the database in the dump. Unchecking it will just export the commands to reinsert the data. Unless there are stored procedures used by the database, this option is essentially the same as the previous option to drop the databases only at the table level. It is not necessary to use this option if you are using the Drop Database option as any tables that currently exist in the database will get removed with the database when it is dropped. However, it will not hurt anything to enable. This option will add If Not Exists to Create Table statements to prevent conflicts when reconstructing the tables. These options control the syntax used for insert statements, such as whether the field names are included or not. Unchecking them can increase performance when importing and exporting large databases, but will decrease legibility if you need to edit the statements in the dump prior to the importation. This option limits the length of the query created by the dump. This option is useful if entries that are being dumped are very large but can cause performance issues as the importation procedure will wait until one record is finished inserting before proceeding to the next. This option will cause errors to be treated as warnings, allowing the import procedure to continue instead of being aborted if a problem occurs with the insert. Select the export type.
The traditional method of restoring a database from a backup is to remove the data and then reinsert it. You can choose to export statements to update or replace existing records instead. However, these sorts of statements will fail on execution if the record no longer exists during the importation, but this can be useful when exporting for a data conversion of some sort. This option will write the dump to a text file and prompt us to download it. By default, phpMyAdmin will use a template that names the file after the host name of the server. This can be changed, however, to a different value. This option will save the template so that it can be used again at a later date. These options can be used to automatically add the dump to a compressed archive, reducing the file size prior to the download. Click the Go button. Here we can copy the dump and paste it into a file in a text editor if we want. Now, let's look at the options for working with a particular database. Click a database name. Click the Export tab. Here we can select which tables are included in the dump if we only want to export part of the database. This time let's download the dump in a file. Click the Save as File checkbox. Since we are working with a particular database this time, the template for the file name will use the database name by default. Click the Go button. Click the Save button. Click the Save button. Click the Close button when the transfer has finished. Databases exported using the options under the Export tab of a particular database will not include the command to create the database itself. Therefore, you will need to import these using the options under the Import tab for the database you are importing into. Dumps made using the export option on the main menu will have the statement and thus can be imported from either location. Due to the limitations of web applications and or the server configuration, when exporting large databases there is a potential for timeouts and errors that cause the export to fail. When this happens, it is recommended that you perform the dump manually from the shell instead of using phpMyAdmin. Congratulations, you now know how to export data in PHP MyAdmin.